world do it? There's no countdown. We're ready to go. It's going live right now. Okay. Week two in the NFL. The Buffalo Bills are 1-0. and This week they take on the New York football Giants. Hi everybody, welcome to week two of live. It's the alley! We're here, we did it. We made it through week one. The Bills are 1-0. and They beat the Jets. 17-16? That's the score. Josh Allen started the game off. He looked good to start. There's a B on your head. Ooh. That's around me too. Ooh. B gone. Oh, Allen started out okay, moved the ball down the field well. A couple turnover problems kind of set us back in the first half. We got down early. And then in the second half, something seemed to happen. Yeah, I don't know really. We didn't turn the ball over. That Go happened. On. Scored. That happened. That Sing was more fourth quarter, I guess. Fourth quarter, they got the ball to Devin Singletary. Allen stopped turning the ball over, like you said, and still officially moved the ball down the field. He went 10 for 12 in the fourth quarter for 108 yards, had a rushing TD, and then the pass touchdown to John Brown. Are you in B? Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. He made him. He let him make a play though, and I think that's one thing that the Bills haven't had was a willingness from the quarterback to let his receivers make the play. Didn't have a receiver to do it either. No, we, we had nobody. We haven't had anybody decent since that. Uh, what was that? Bada Benjamin. Horrible. Yeah, he's horrible. He was garbage. But no, since Stevie Johnson, the guy who could you could trust to make a play on the ball, and that's what John Brown did, and Josh Allen threw it back shoulder, make a play, touchdown. Defense held up in the second half very well. They're going to be scary, hopefully, and be consistent. Holding teams low, we score more than them, we win. More of a story, win the turnover battle, lose the game and your quarterback for a few weeks. Well, that's only if you've got Sorry, miles. <laughs> Not Polly. This week we play the, the Giants, the other New York team. Two games, two weeks, same stadium, different so, colors. Sounds like two wins. I hope so. We gotta look out though. We we've got Saquon Barkley to look out for. Eli The Brady we've got, Killer. We've got Saquon Barkley to look out for. The Brady Killer. Eli? Manning? He beat him twice. When it counted. When it counted. But he's on the downswing anyway. I would I would like to hope so, especially for us today. Well, for the Bills' sake today. So with that, we're going to move on to what has now become our favorite segment, Jives with Jimmer, our Jets correspondent, now our Giants correspondent, Jim Bieliszewski, everybody. Jimmer, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. So, you've jumped ship here decided that you're going to cover the Giants this week. What can you tell us about our matchup with the New York Giants today? Giants started off, they took it hard last week, losing on the road at Dallas 35-17. In that game, Dallas lit them up for 405 yards in passing. Josh Allen should have a good game today. On the other hand, Giants on offense. You hear the term, next man up. Receivers, their fourth man up. Their top three receivers are probably out today. Man, top three. Sterling Shepard has a concussion. Right. Jordan Fate is suspended. And Cody Latimer, as of 11 a.m., was questionable. I don't even know who Cody Latimer is. He was their third string guy. He's questionable at best. <laughs> so to speak. They still, as you mentioned, have to deal with Saquon Barkley, who had 120 yards last year on a Last week on only 10 carries. Now, what do you think about Barkley? They took him at a very high pick last year as a running back. I mean, that's kind of unheard of. Everybody knows a running back. You can get third round, fourth round, whatever it is. He is an exceptional player. But for the Giants, who obviously have a quarterback in need, and they drafted one, sure, that Daniel Jones. But was Barkley the right move? Is he enough for them to get them by until they have a successor to Eli? Has to see how Daniel Jones makes out, and if Eli is ready to be put out to pasture yet. He seems like it sometimes. If you look at the Bills' defense last week, they showed that they can put it on a dominant performance against an offense that is led by a quarterback that has mono. <laughs> you know who doesn't have mono this week? 
Eli Manning. Unless him and Darnold are kissing cousins, we'll never we won't we'll never know. We'll never know. I know they're kissing, but I'm not sure that they're cousins. Eli Manning has feasted in his career against the AFC East. He is ten and three straight up in his career. We'll break that down even further. He is three and zero oh against the Bills. All right. And it's one, two, three. <laughs> Eli, Eli. Oh, <laughs> there it is. He did it to us. I remember when we liked this guy. Yeah, Jimmer, he used to be our favorite. With so, that being said, Giants 23, Bills 20. Oh, oh goes now, with the upset. Jimmer's a liar. Yeah, well, Jimmer, thank you for your exceptional team swapping correspondence this week. <laughs> Next week, I can't wait to see you in a Tiger costume when the Bills play the Bengals. i got to go put my Jets stuff back. There it is. Thank you very much, Jimmer. Well, back to the real fans. Not any swappers like that. He's going to beat us up after this. He's a decent guy. He's a good dude. Weather today in New York. It's going to be hot. Too hot. Football's not meant to be played in New York City at like 85 degrees for the second week in a row. No, we almost... We try for, for a snow game. Snow game? Snow wagon. There's no way that can happen today. Get the it's gonna be. out of here. I don't know where that came from. I don't know either. It's gonna be good. But weather wise, it should be just fine. No threat of rain, frogs from the sky, anything like that. Frogs? I don't know. Frog legs. Well, frog legs? And our next segment. We gotta get better at this stuff. We will. The next segment is going to be what we like to call, as we bring in our very good friend, Double A, the Double A Q&A. With Little Chili. With Little Chili. Hey, all right. Hey, give my hey, hand, everybody. Hey, give my hey, hand. Hey, hey. Those of you who are wondering if you're watching on Facebook Live, Aaron's head is cut off. If you're watching on local access, it is not. That's a good, you kind of look like an Oompa Loompa. Give me the Oompa Loompa again. All right, Double A, what do you got for us? All right, so I need to know, is Devin Singletary going to break 100 yards rushing, receiving, or both today? Josh, what are your thoughts on that question? That's an easy one. Both. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's gonna, I think Singletary's going to end up at about around 40 to 50 yards receiving and somewhere in... Close to 100 yards rushing. It depends. If they go with the game plan they went with last week where they threw the crap out of the ball to start the game and late run it, it'll be hard for him to amass a lot of rushing yards. But if he breaks out like he did last week against the Jets defense in the second half, I think he's got a chance. So you're saying start him. Yeah, start him. And what? <laughs> Fantasy? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Second question. Does Eli Manning make it through the game? That's an easy one. Once again, an easy question. Not a chance. No way. No chance. Not a, no, he doesn't get it through the game. He's okay. done. Shane O'Mac would say no chance. He's if done. You, if you know wrestling, you know Shane O'Mac. He's got a chance. All right, Double A, we got time for one more. We've got time for one more. We got all the time in the world. <laughs> this one's more for Billy. Uh, if you were going to describe the Bills this season, what roller coaster would you use to describe them? Man, that is a tough one. I'm going to go with Top Thrill Dragster at Cedar Point. Because just like the beginning of the season so far, we're going to shoot out at 120 miles an hour. We're going to go 450 feet high. Then we're going to wait a little while and see how the rest goes. Then we're going to go flying down at another 120 miles an hour. In a good way, I hope. I'm glad you didn't say the Predator because that just hurts you. It just beats you up. We don't want to get beat up by the Bills. Predator, I'm done with you. I'll ride you down someday. Someday. I guess we're done with roller coaster. <laughs> That's our roller coaster coverage of the week. And uh, we'd like to bring to you guys something very special this week. Somebody very near and dear, especially to my heart, the Chautauqua County Sports Hall of Famer, former basketball coach. He likes to say coach. Coach Wisniewski, why don't you come on over here? Yeah, thank you, Bill and Bob. Thank you. You're not even on camera yet. Oh, You're on camera. Yeah, sit in my seat. Okay, I gotta stretch on, my Aaron. legs. Thank you. So, for those of you who don't know, Coach Wisniewski here. Why don't you tell a little bit about yourself to the crowd? A little bit about myself? Yeah. Well, first of all, I was not involved in Squirrel Gate. That's erroneous okay. on all accounts on I that one. The fifth time. 
Okay. No, I was a coach at Dunkirk and, and uh, a teacher at Dunkirk for 37 years. And I'm a, actually, I'm an Eagles fan, so I'm on the wrong show. Oh. That's I, longer than Billy's been alive, 37 years. But I want to tell you something. True. I want to tell you something about the Bills. If you're a Bills fan, you're going to realize as the season goes on that the Bills are going to win because of their defense. You watched their defense last week. It was terrific, really. I mean, I think the Jets scored on a, a pass play. Mm -hmm. you know, they picked off for a touchdown. So the Bills' defense uh, was really fantastic last week, and they're going to have to play the same way today. Do you think the Bills' defense is going to be able to contain the Giants' rushing attack of Saquon Barkley? Absolutely. What did they do? I, you know, I don't think Bell was that great last, last week, was he? Especially in the second half, he was he was a no-show. He was a non-factor. So I think the Bills will stop Barkley. They'll stop uh, Eli. And I think the Bills are looking at 2-0 two, two and oh coming home to Buffalo next week. Do you think Josh Allen passes for 300 yards today? No. I'll tell you why. The guy I like is on the bench. Oh, Matt Barkley? Matt Barkley is better than Josh Allen. A lot of people won't admit that but I think Barkley's a better quarterback. Is that because he played on the Eagles? Uh, that might be. <laughs> <laughs> he is a former Eagle. That's right, that's yeah. right. But either way, I, I think you make a lot of good points about the Bills' defense. If they're going to win many games, it's going to be the Bills' defense that either keeps them in games or makes a statement early and lets the Bills' offense make their way through the game and, and get points. Yeah, I, I think the Bills' offense is going to take time to get going, but I think the defense is ready. And uh, I think they're going to be 2-0 after today. So good luck to the Bills. Yes. Thank well, you. Thank you. Coach, other than mentioning Squirrelgate, which you did on your own, so you can't chastise me for that, yeah. I'd really like to thank you for taking your time out of a Sunday thank you. and missing Mass to come hang out with a bunch of idiots in the alley. <laughs> go alley. Hey, go alley. Go alley. One more thing that we missed at the beginning of the show is something that I'm going to start or that we are going to start doing each week. The Bills beat the Jets. We have to play them again in, in week whatever. 17. Is it? End of the year? Beginning? End of the year? We'll do it at the end of the year. Okay. Why not? I'd like to start one more thing, a little bit of tradition that we'd like to have a little bit of fun with. You know who the Grim Reaper is? I've never heard of him. He dropped something off in my house last night. He's the guy that comes and tells you right before you, you're done, you're done, big stick sickle on it hood oh i've, I've seen him kind of looks like bill belichick a little bit oh, he visited yeah. me last night and he brought me this to hang up in the alley to remind everybody of what the bills did last week and for those of you who can't read it because i don't own a marker this is the gravestone for the jets last week is it backwards on everybody's camera no oh, forwards there we're looking good. It's backwards where we're looking. You can barely see it because you didn't put the black marker. Well, I don't own a marker. We covered this in pre-show. Anyway. It's in its infancy. It's in its infancy. We're budget. just starting out with stupid stuff. That's something we're going to be doing every week. So when at the end of the season, when you see 16 of them up there, we'll know that the Bills had a good season. I heard the Grim Reaper is in New Jersey again this week. Twice in two weeks. We're just set them. Because of this guy. Well, Joshy! Hey, Joshy! Welcome back, Lil Joshy. Good to see you, buddy. Well, what do you What do you think, Josh? We gotta make our picks. You talking to me or Joshy? Giants, negative two. Bills by forty. Again, negative two. We can only try as hard as we can. I'm going to go with the Bills as well, 24-7. I think Josh Allen continues to have, you know, some, some still some growing pains, but offensively showing success. I think the defense is going to get out of their own way a little bit or try to, but it, by the by the second half, adjustment-wise, it's going to shut the Giants down. I don't think there's any chance. We're excited for the game today. Go, Bills. We're going to go down to – we're going to get out of the alley, head down to Little McGill's. Go, Little McGill's. Let's go to Little McGill's. Let's go. Go Bills! Go Bills! Woo! Thank you everybody for being a part of the show. Download. Good doubling waving that flag. Hi.